Yo, what's up? How y'all doing today? Thanks for watching this video. Story time. Radar movies. And still got it. Still got away with it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna tell y'all how this how this got started though. Um. Well, I'll be when I was a kid, I'll be watching movie, uh, radar movies like Boys in the Hood, uh, Mental Society, CB4, uh, Jason lyrics. Uh, stuff, stuff like that. Um, yeah, I grew up watching that stuff. And what really started, really, um, uh, my roommate, mother, um, the one y'all yeah, pretty much seen all them videos, the previous videos. Well, his mother um, um, took us to the movies, seeing, uh, uh, check this movie out called um, Payback with Mel Gibson. At the time, um, it was around in the, it was around in, um, in the nineties. Um, I forgot exactly where it came out, and uh, um, that's uh, that's how I got started. And after a while, um, it was another radar film called Blade, the first one, the very first Blade that came out around that time. Um, so my mo my mother had to uh, take us to, uh, to the movie theater because we weren't old enough at the time, and um, um, oh, I'm sorry, just a second, I forgot to do this. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Yeah, um, yeah, um, when Blade first came out, my mom, uh, took us uh, to the movies. We'll check the movie out. And that's the movie I really wanted to see at the time. So, uh, so she had to come with us because we weren't old enough. And then, um, so every time these good radio movies start coming out, I always want to check them out. And a lot of times I got tired watching these PG movies a lot, you know. <laughs> so, um, at, at the age of maybe 14, 15 years old, me and my roommate, um, it was a lot of times we just uh, stuck in, in the radar film. Um, I know I remember seeing Resident Evil. Um, uh, I don't know, man. She's all. All kinds of radar movies, man. We've seen back then. Um, and then, um, see, if we had our parents or or anybody else just grab our tickets for us, and then we just get the tickets and grab our popcorn or, or drinks from there, and then we just go in. Now, how we now, now uh, the part we how we got in, it was a guy. Um, it was it was a guy working there. And then, um, I think he was handicapped. And then, um, so he never asked us our ID at all. So basically, we had people or people that we know get our tickets for us. And then we just grab our park and drink. And then when we go in and um, hand out our tickets, um, tickets to go see the movie, all he did is grab the ticket, ripped it, passed it back to us, and said, uh, the movie is to your left, to the right. Movie three, four, whatever it was, whatever, and it, um, so we just kept on continuing, go right on in. So we kept on doing this like a long time, and um, and we still seeing exact that same person. So that exact, exact same person never asked our ID at all. The handicapped person never asked us our ID at all. So um. <laughs> So we just kept on getting away with it a lot, and um, okay. Then in the part, um, uh, uh, I don't want to get to the good part yet. Just hold on. <laughs> okay. Well, I might have to. So I might have to. So I'm gonna go ahead and just say it, though. Um, 
Okay, but Resident Evil came out at the time. The, the very first one. Okay, um... No, when that came out, uh, me... Yep, me and my home roommate, we seen that movie on the second day that came out. And, um... I think that, uh... Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, I forgot. Um... His, uh, sister friends, uh, dropped us off at the movie theater. She was, uh, 17 at the time. And we was about, about 14, 15 at the time. And, um, so she trying to grab, uh, she, she trying to grab two, um, tickets, uh, for the Resident Evil for us. And, it, um, so the people won't let her uh, get her, um, get the, um, the ticket because, um, she got to be with somebody else. So what she did is show, um, so she got back in her car and ran back home, pick up her sister, and bring her back to the movie theater. And actually, uh, around the time, it was about like about five or seven minutes away where she was living at. So we stayed at the theater and then, um, until we got our tickets. So we got our tickets. So, um, so the, the first part of work, now, now when we try and grab our popcorn and drink, you know, which we did that, and uh, this time the guy, the handicapped guy, wasn't there, and um, and then the, uh, the guy is like, um, so for him, I take it to the, uh, the guy. He said, uh, "I'm sorry, y'all, but I got to see y'all IDs." So we ain't had any IDs. He said, "Well, sorry, I cannot let you in then." So. <laughs> so we didn't get in at all, right? So, so we started walking back. So I had to dig another plan. Um, this is around the time um, when John Q movie came out, and um, and I remember my uh, my best friend telling me, uh, "Man, you you want to just go see John Q?" I said, "Man, hell no. We is not go see no John Q." I want to see Resident Evil, I and mean, that's the movie we're going to see. I said, and I'm going to find a way to get in there. <laughs> so, um, so I have to think, 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 think. Well, um, um, and I couldn't um, get um, any time wasted. So, what I did is I started asking people. So, uh, these first people, I started asking them, they was going to see the same movie with us. And um, if I ask, I ask them, uh, well, um, it's all right, you go um, uh, take the with it, man. We got a ticket. So the guy said, no. Nah. So I let him pass. So the second person I asked, same thing. He didn't want to let us through. So third time and final, uh, I asked someone. Um, I, I was talking to this dude. Um, cool dude. Cool dude. And then... Um, at the time, uh, I think he was with his girlfriend or his wife or something like that. And um, this is around the time uh, another movie came out uh, all about the Benjamins with Mike Epps and Ice Cube at the time. And um, well, he was going to see in that movie. And then he told me, uh, uh, I think he said his wife or his girlfriend or something like that. She was going to see Resident Evil. And I said, oh. Uh, like um then I asked uh I, then I asked him uh, like um would you mind ask um like ask your woman let me get his uh, get his into the radar um film the uh, Resident Evil movie because we had our tickets already all we need is to get in and just watch so he agreed and so um so he finally talked to her and um because we had everything that we need and um we already got a popcorn and drink so next we know. Um, when we went back, that same guy stood there, hand our tickets, <laughs> and we went straight, straight through it in, in the movie theater, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so, so, um, <laughs> whoever, the, uh, and, uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> man, um, the, so the guy and the female, who, if y'all remember me, man, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you. So let me, well, let me get back to the story, though. So um, we finally went in, 
And um, by the time um, when we went to the movie, th we went inside uh, the th movie theater. Um, the movie was just getting started. It's about like probably missed like three minutes, but it was like all the names, credits, um, all that stuff before they even showed the actual characters and the role plays and stuff like that. And then now, and then um, during in the movie, um, um. You know, we were sitting watching the movie, and these guards, these guards, these people keep on working there, keep on coming in and th um, in the movie theater like maybe five or six or maybe seven times. So I'm not sure um, if it was looking for us. I don't know if that guy was um, report that um, about Latin miners um, go see the, uh, a radar film. And uh, um, so they kept on going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth in the other in um, in the theater. I was like, "Dang, man! I hope they ain't looking for us because we could have got busted that day." I mean, actually, we didn't. And after the movie, we walked out the same um, the same entrance, walk out, put our popcorn bucket and cups bucket, all that shit in the trash, and kept on walking and still got away with that shit. <laughs> Man. Mm -hmm. So um I think that's the um maybe that's the last time that we did that and sneaking in the stuff and until we really got older. So um I remember one time uh uh I was uh, I turned seventeen on November seventh and this around the time eight mile came out. Uh, eight mile came out the next day after my birthday. Um, for some reason I didn't get a chance to see that movie, and um, and something came up, so eventually I didn't see the movie. But with Friday at the next came out, yeah, um, I finally checked out the movie out. You know, of course they asked my ID. I had proof. I had an ID, and I went in and read the film without no problem. And um, I went out there, uh, the movie there by myself. This time it was just me, not not my best friend. And uh, it was no problems. It was cool. And then now, um, another movie. Um, it was a radar film. I was old enough, but my roommate wasn't at the time. But he did have a driving license at the time. So, um, Cray to the Grave around the time with Jet Lee and DMX. Um, well, of course, I grabbed my ticket because I was old enough. Just a second. Oh, and that shit good. Okay, and then, um, my, fr um, uh, my friend, I think he, uh, he was about, uh, a week, uh, he had, a, a, like, a week left before he turned 17. And, um, uh, he tried to get in uh, in the film. I tried to bring him in. Um, that part didn't work. So basically, um, yeah, that part didn't work. So we had to cancel our tickets, cancel the movie, and get our money back because he wasn't old enough. Um, even uh, a week, uh, yeah, a, a week after his, uh, yeah, a week for his birthday, and um, they still won't let him in. Until he is officially seventeen, so we so we kind of gave up on that, and and we finally wait till he turned seventeen. Once he turned seventeen, Oliver seventeen. We went back to the movie theater, and the guys remembered us. He showed his ID, I showed my ID, and we both went in. It's um, and you know, we went in, enjoyed the movie. So, uh, we didn't even have to worry about sneaking in, or nothing like that. And then, um, and then after a while, we was, after a while, we was, after we were 17, 18, 19, 20, whatever, whatever. After a while, people started asking us our ID, uh, for the radar film around that time. But now, but yeah, but now every time we're going back to the movies and we want to see a radar film, they ain't gonna, don't ask us no more because they know, because we're old enough now. Well, that's my story for y'all. <laughs> and I like to say thanks for watching this video. Story time. 
Ray Art movies and still got away with it, which I did. <laughs> and then, um, if I have another good story or whatever, I'll post another one. Thanks again for watching this video. More videos coming up soon. And have a great day and have a nice day. Peace.